So nisamide is a broad spectrum anti-seizure medication. What does that mean? It means it works really well for both focal and generalized epilepsies. It's one of the few that works on both. I have had good experience with zanisamide. Patients generally tolerate it well. Um, some of the biggest side effects of zanisamide are weight loss, um, paresthesias, which is numbness and tingling in your fingers and toes. If you have a history of kidney stones, you should not be taking zanisamide. Zanisamide also um, works for migraines. It's used to treat migraines. So, you know, if you're someone with migraines and epilepsy, it could be a medication used in both. Um, it also is a medication that is dosed once a day, which makes it kind of nice for some people because you can just take it all at night. Um, but overall, I like zanisamide. I think it works well. Some people feel it gives them some cognitive difficulty, which Topamax definitely does, and zanisamide is slightly related to it. So, you know, for some people, that is a reason they can't tolerate it. But if you haven't been on it and you'd like to try it, I think definitely talk to your doctor. I just wanted to throw this in here because this is how zanisamide works. Um, acetazolamide, as well as topiramate, they work with blocking something called carbonic anhydrase. It is something that works in the kidneys. Um, so zanisamide is one of the few drugs that goes through your kidneys. It inhibits carbonic anhydrase, um, so it can lead to loss of bicarb, which means it can lead to metabolic acid doses. So this is why when you're on this medication, you do need your blood work checked pretty frequently, um, and your doctor can arrange for that. It can also cause disturbances in your calcium and potassium levels, um, which may you feel a little weird in the beginning. This usually gets better over a couple of days to weeks. However, um, if this is something that is of concern to you or your doctor, definitely this is not the right medication for you. Um, loss of bicarb can precipitate kidney stones, which is why we say if anyone with a history of kidney stones shouldn't be on this medication. Anyone who already has metabolic acidosis should also not be on this medication. Also, if potassium, calcium, or sodium are an issue for you at baseline, this might not be the best medication for you.